This is code.org, and this is what I have for my mini project so far. I was doing a space style game. Let's see what we're going to do on this part. Create your sprites, yes. Next, create the sprites you will use in this program. You need a player, the frog, a target, the fly, and an obstacle, the mushroom. You can make them anything you want. And keep in mind, we did the uh, project guide, and I wrote down the sprites I was going to use. So I'm not going to use their frog. I'm actually just going to get rid of it. You could leave it, but we don't need it. Or a mushroom. Or a fly. Bye. All right. Hit plus here. And I'm on an alien planet, so I want an alien. I could pick one that moves automatically, but I think I might do a stationary one. <laughs> this is the fun part. Oh, you know what? Actually, I want this robot. Do I want this? No, this robot makes sense to me. Okay, so I'll do this robot. And uh, I'm going to want a obstacle. Oh, look, obstacles. That's handy. Now, what would be an ops? Oh, there's not that many. Iron ore. Hmm. That could work for an alien planet. Diamond. Iron ore it is. Sure. Okay. And then I need like a bonus for my alien. Maybe food? That makes sense for a bonus. Ooh. Oh, well, my background's orange. My alien loves pizza, I'm thinking. Yep, that will be the bonus. All right. Heading back to my code. Find the code comment game setup. Create your three sprites, the player, target, and obstacle. Okay. So, and we do want to do this above the draw loop because the draw loop runs 30 times a second. We do not want to create variables, right? 30 times a second. We don't need to. You just create them once and you can use them. So game setup, create sprites. I'll drop this here. I want a sprite, a set animation, a sprite, set animation. And again, this all goes at the top because if the draw loop runs 30 times a second, it's not like I'm changing the animation right here. I use this variable throughout, so I'll only need it once. I'm going to call this first one just player, which will be my robot. Player, which again will be my robot. Obstacle. Oh, if I can spell it. Obstacle. Okay, good. And then they call this target. So I'll call that target. I could do bonus. I'm going to call it bonus. Eh. They're using the word target. I'll use the word target makes me think of the store. All right, now we're not done here because notice I haven't set the animations. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I need that obstacle and then target and target. Okay, now you want to set your animations. Little robot for me. My obstacle was the iron ore and my pizza. So the variables can be whatever I want, right? It's the name I use to, to manipulate this item. So I create a sprite, I assign it this image of the little robot. That's what player will be now. Obstacle, and right now I'm creating them all at 200, 200. Does it talk about placement? Create your three sprites. I am going to move them around some and get them to be the right size. I'll start with size. Again, size isn't something I'm going to be changing, so I wouldn't put it in the draw loop. I'm going to go ahead now and draw, dra grab sprite.scale and drop it under player. I like to keep all of these together at the top. It just makes more sense and is easier to read for me. So player.scale. Now, two on this would be 200%. I don't want it huge. I want it smaller. So that being said, if two is 200%, 0 0.5 is actually going to be 50%. Scale. And then I'm going to drop that here. And finally, I'll be dropping this here. So the obstacle... I probably want about 50%, and then this I want about 50% for the target. Now, let's move them around too. They're all at 200, 200. I'm going to put the target up in the sky like they had it. So I'll say uh, 350 maybe, 300 for X, 50 for Y. The player needs to be down here somewhere. Keep in mind, sprites are drawn from their center. So I'll do 50 for this, and then Y way down here is about 300. And yeah, we'll leave that. All right, boom. Ooh, okay, so we're getting a bit better. I want to move my player up probably to 
200 y the scale of the pizza is that's a huge piece of pizza let's make it a bit harder on them so 0 0.3 maybe and the iron ore is way too small so 0 0.7 maybe always put the zero that's what they want you to have okay we're getting there not 200 let's do 250 i think my robot's too big that would make the game too easy maybe i want 1.5 on the iron ore that's looking a bit better maybe 1.2 i'm gonna move this down to 300 250 you kind of have to go back and forth to get this right oh wow no goodness okay i finally got it i want my block to be a bit different and it almost matches the ground so what i'll do is i'm just going to use this color picker pickle picker tool and it auto changed and i'm just going to go click and now it's all that color which i want cool Run. there we are i'm liking this i am liking that my pizza is a decent size i might go a teeny bit smaller sure and now i have them all set up drop this a bit and these will be changing when the game starts because we're going to be manipulating where they are on the screen. So cool. We got all of our characters set up and their scale changed. Let's keep uh, going.